So what you have for our demonstration this afternoon uh, on your screen from left to right is a Shaden Mill Standard 1553 to Airing 429 data converter uh, that they use in a variety of military applications. In the middle you have the avionics interface module that ASIG and Shaden collaborated on to convert Airing 429 data to iOS uh, application use. Um, on the right you have a Garmin GNS430 which for the purposes of this demonstration will be the source of uh, Airing 429 data uh, to be used uh, within the iOS application. Uh, in addition to the uh, custom cabling, all you have off screen is a standard digital power supply. Okay, it provides 28 volt operating uh, power to the Garmin and to the avionics interface module. So the first thing that we've done here is we have established uh, our location as KHRT. We're going to pick Hurlburt Field because what we've done previously is uh, loaded a flight plan uh, into the Garmin during the break uh, that originates at Hurlburt Field uh, flies to Tyndall, returns back to Eglin, and terminates back at Hurlburt Field. So um, we're going to go ahead and accept that. We're going to load the flight plan that we saved earlier. That's the KHRT to KHRT. We're going to go ahead and activate the flight plan. And then we're going to bring up airspeed. And I'll set 400 knots uh, airspeed. And then in our nav display, we'll bring the nav display up. And you can see we originated KHRT, go to KPAM, and back to KEGI before returning. So with that, the avionics interface module is, is just sitting there, but it's working. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring the range in a little bit, uh, and you will be able to see. I'm bringing up uh, our Falcon Pad Suite. Uh, Falcon Pad Suite is a uh, software application that uh, ASIG, uh, App Orchard, and Shaden have collaborated on to take mil uh, military uh, route and threat files from portable flight planning software Falcon View uh, modules uh, to use within the iOS environment. So what you have is you've got the three uh, uh, route files. It's also uh, a TO viewer, P PDF viewer, you can put your checklist or whatever, uh, ultimately perform keyword searches and make notations and so forth. Uh, but you can bring these in either wired or wirelessly uh, into iOS. I'm going to pull up a flight plan uh, that we had uh, pulled up. And you'll see uh, in this high level uh, chart, we're actually flying out of Hurlburt Field, which is right there. Uh, coincidentally, we're already able to pull down the airport diagrams. Uh, from within the interface and it'll fly the route. Uh, for the sake of speed, uh, what I'm going to do here on the Garmin, uh, if you can see, is I'm going to go ahead and bring our airspeed up to 600 knots. Um, and though we're not going to perform the entire flight, we are going to carry you through Tyndall Air Force Base uh, I'll slow it down through the transition. You'll be able to see the Garmin flying it, flying the, uh, the route through that transition, uh, straighten out, uh, and then we'll bring the airspeed back up as we transition back up towards um, Eglin Air Force Base. So with that, um, what this is truly demonstrating is the perfection uh, of basic Airing 429 data converted for iOS use. Um, there's a variety of applications that, uh, that Shaden currently has in military uh, and commercial aircraft that can be easily upgraded or modified to, to use this technology. Um, 
uh, through some hardware and software changes. Uh, but um, and these are programs that include C130 Soft, J Stars, a variety of commercial uh, air carrier applications that are that are using some of these um, uh, basic uh, box form factors. Um, you'll notice. Let me come back to the nav display here. We're keeping our flight as we fly it here on the on the Garmin. We're keeping it in here. Uh, a couple of interesting things to show you along the way is that we can go ahead and we can pull up the standard Google map. You notice that we're chart centering while we're flying as well. Um, we chart center. We can also show a ship's own position icon uh, optionally. Um, we have the ability to uh, airports, show the threats, weather. We don't have any threats loaded uh, and weather functionality is currently disabled uh, because that, that uh, application development hasn't been uh, released for beta yet. Uh, we have a simulation mode. Obviously I wanted you to notice that it is off. We are actually flying the iPad with the Garmin right now. Um, and So we are using GPS when not in simulation mode. We can shut off chart centering, and I'm going to, and we'll, we'll watch the, uh, the aircraft icon continue to fly in time with the Garmin uh, along this route. We can also show satellite view. Uh, we can zoom quite a ways in. Uh, you got to wonder what all those folks on the beach are thinking seeing this aircraft come screaming by at 600 knots. Um, we can also show uh, hybrid views, uh, maps over satellite imagery. The refresh rate currently for the data is, uh, is approximately uh, once per second. We can show a terrain view and we can show FAA sectionals. So it's pulling this FAA sectional down from the internet right now. Uh, and then we can show the uh, in route uh, high. I'm going to start uh, backing the airspeed down a little bit. Um, we're going to pull it back to 130 knots. That way we don't overshoot the terminal. But you've noticed that we're not doing any chart centering at this time. It's just flying the route. And it'll continue to fly off the screen if you let it. However, turn the chart centering back on. And voila. Chart centers up. And it regenerates around the aircraft every time the aircraft position uh, refresh moves. Here's the low altitudes. The, uh, the airspeed has come back down so this is typically the military view and so we're going to see the, uh, the aircraft start to uh, approach uh, KPAM Uh, something that you don't see on here, by the way, is um, that the uh, we can pull the METAR data down, the meteorological information from the various stations that are reporting um, in the area. Uh, some of these military stations don't report through the FAA's uh, uh, stations, so that data is not uh, in there. Go ahead and bring airspeed back up just a little, ground speed back up just a little bit. I'm joined by Mike DeBruzzi of Shaden. 
He's the uh, director of uh, military sales. Uh, Mike, do you have anything you wanted to share uh, at this time? I think you're covering it all, Luke. See if we can see the uh, airfield underneath us in this view, in the hybrid view. Just for clarity, um, we did not program any SIDs or STARS or approaches or, or uh, transitions, terminals, things of that nature into our flight plan. Um, We could if we had them, uh, but we're just we're not doing it for this demonstration. These are obviously um, technology dem demonstration uh, aids right now, and uh, and so there's a lot more to be done both for the Falcon View um, or Falcon. Had uh, application for iOS um, to uh, to refine it, um, and uh, and that is what we're looking towards uh, the government's uh, interest for. Um, most all of these products, including the integration kitting and the the class two mounts and the knee boards and so forth, have all been um, developed around feedback uh, that we've received from the various military branches, particularly. Uh, Air Force, AMC, and, and uh, their their pilot corps. Um, so now the aircraft has uh, kind of starting to turn about to its leg. It's going to correct itself. I think we'll start bringing our airspeed back up. <coughs> back up to 600 knots. Kind of expedite this process a bit. And we'll zoom back out. We'll bring back up the high altitude. You see, we're headed up here to oh, 2 Duke Field, Eglin Air Force Base. The installation provisions do support charging. Uh, the devices in the airframe from aircraft sources. Uh, they provide uh, clean power uh, harmonized to the Apple specification uh, and are uh, designed around the requirements of uh, the FAA uh, for power supply systems for use with personal electronic devices. Uh, in this case, the iOS device, the iPad, is a piece of COTS equipment, a PED, that's just being deployed as an EFB. Um, and uh, with the perfection of these airy interfaces um, for iOS, uh, and that those will include things like pressure air data, uh, uh, true airspeed, um, variety of discretes and those types of things um, that we can bring into the device. <coughs> uh, and make those uh, functions and features available to the industry at large, whether it be an airline that has a, a, a 
strong iOS development team that just needs um, to access to our software development kit um, to, to utilize the, uh, the library of interfaces from the, the device or um, even other uh, iOS app developer teams uh, or companies like Lido or Jeppesen uh, that are really, uh, in Jeppesen's case, the 300-pound uh, the gorilla when it comes to cartography and, and app development. So, with that, you've seen us transition one uh, in the name of uh, time and, and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and terminate this um, demonstration. Thank you for uh, being with us today.